Hi, I'm Scott. I'm from Speed Pro Science Medicine Hat. And the coolest part of my job is I actually get to change the way the city looks. I get to work with businesses as we add brand new building signage, window graphics, vehicle graphics, and it changes the landscape of our city. And that's a really cool job. But what's really interesting about that is there's a story behind each job that we do. And that story is your story the story of your company and your business. And this week I actually got to sit down with Terrell Kenmore and tell his story about becoming a realtor in Medicine Hat and how it's going so far. So here we go, here's Terrell Kenmore. Yeah, our team's doing really well. You know, we're, we're pretty thankful and pretty blessed to have opportunity and have the clients that we do have. Um, you know, we got started at a really strange time with COVID, just like right before COVID hit and then trying to navigate that, but there's, there's no replacement for hard work and we've really stuck to our guns on that. We get out, we work, we knock on doors, we talk to everybody we can and the market has, you know, has helped with that. They've accepted that and then really given us a spot within this market. Yeah, we're just getting ready to roll that out. That's going to be our 2024 kind of slogan. Um, how I came up with it was I actually was selling a client's house and they said that, you know, they interviewed four agents and they decided to go with us because I was relatable. You know, I talked about uh, my kids have messes in their bedrooms. We have dirty dishes in the sink all the time. We're constantly having to tidy and hurry up before anybody gets there to fake like it's always Instagram perfect and it never really is. And when they said that relatable word to me, it really did strike a chord. And I thought, you know what, that that's who we are. We're a family, we're a busy family. Uh, life doesn't look like it does on Instagram. And so we don't want people to have, take those images as reality. So relatable real estate was kind of something that jumped out to us. We kind of liked that idea. Well, we started with very little, um, little money to be honest so it was stuff I could print off at home and I would just go around and hand out flyers basically door to door and as things progressed and the market changed we had to evolve along with it so we started with like you said signs for on fences and we, we always get the brokerage signs you know those those just come with the territory our own personal signage we kind of evolved you know I, I gave a little bit of a budget every year that is incrementally grown uh, as our business has grown as well and it kind of culminates with this big wrap on our staging trailer. This is not, as you know, this isn't something that we, we did overnight or on a whim. It took, you know, eight months to save up the money for this. And we're really excited about it. It does showcase that we get out and we work. We stage our own homes. I'm the guy there moving the furniture. I don't make it look nice. That's, that's Emerald's job, but I'm moving furniture and we do it as a team. So we want to make sure that the marketplace knows that. As well as the other side, the Toxville Family Farms, that's near and dear to my heart growing up in the ag industry. And we know that business very well. We've established ourselves as one of the, you know, the market leaders in that part of the business around here. So we want this wrap to really portray that. You know, it'll move around to the houses we stage. It'll stay at our storage yard in, in Dunmore there. And I really hope it does do what the other signage has done for us. I, I think the only thing I would like to add that I would hope you guys could put in is um, your guys' team has been integral to us. Uh, we appreciate the hard work that you guys do, the quick turnaround that you've provided us, and a lot of the grace, you know, when I'm supposed to pick stuff up and I'm late, you guys are very understanding on that. You know, my, my schedule is sporadic. You know, I, I go as the phone rings. So you guys have been, have been, and will continue to be a key part of our success. We thank you for that. And my favorite weird quirky thing about Medicine Hat is probably going swimming down in the river right by the power plant. It's always warm year round, you can sneak down there. Sometimes you may or may not have a bathing suit, you could just be in your skivvies. 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 Okay, my favorite neighborhood is probably, I, I'm a realtor so I gotta be careful, I don't wanna offend anybody, but I grew up in Ross Glen, so it's kinda close to home. 